Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Defub21 and today we, well we're today, we're right smack bang in the middle of E3 and today what we're going to have a look at is a gameplay video from, for, or from Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands that was shown during the, well during Ubisoft's E3 media briefing. I missed this the first time around, I was uh, watching the PC gaming uh, briefing which went too long and uh, I so I haven't seen this yet so we'll have a look at this and then I'll give you my immediate thoughts and reaction to it. Uh, see you in a moment. I offer the people a choice. To follow me, or oppose me. If you follow me, I feed your families. Give you shelter, medicine, and jobs. Shield you from the tyrants. Allow La Santa Muerte to protect you from death. I give you power. I make you rich. But most of all, I let you rule like kings. But for those that oppose me, I have only one thing to offer. A promise. To take everything you love and destroy it in front of your eyes. Tell we need supposed to be in this Sicario's house. Looks like it's upstairs. Copy that. Need any help? Nah, I got this. Okay, I'll take a look around. Right, let's try to keep it stealthy. There's one right there. Oh, gotcha. I'm in. Oh shit, I've been spotted. You good? Yep, got it. Just moving upstairs. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, I got the intel on El Pozolero. He's in a camp up in San Mateo. Cool, how far is it? We could use a ride. You got a car out there? No, something better. You ready to fly? Let's go. You got it. According to the intel, the camp should be near this cliff. El Pozolero is a high valley target. And he's going to be well protected. There's a camp. Oh, damn, this one's going to be tough. Yeah, we could definitely use some backup on this one. Hey, you guys need a hand? Right on time. We're going after El Pozolero. We're at the east of the San Mateo base. Got it. We are on our way.
We're approaching the camp from the west. We'll meet you there. Copy that. I hear this El Pozolero guy is supposed to be a hard target. How bad does it look? See for yourself. Oh, damn. Looks like a whole lot of trouble. Tag the lookout. Can you get him? Roger that. One less to worry about. Okay, we're splitting up. Weaver, can you get to a good sniper position on the south side of the camp? No problem. Alrighty, I'm moving in from the other side. Copy that. We're moving in from the train station at the east end of camp. It's up. Enemy spotted. I got eyes on a sniper. Wait for my signal. Got it. Now. Tango down. Let's move. Okay, wait a minute. I hear something inside. Two guys. I got the one on the right. You ready? Ready. Go. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna deploy the drone and see what's up ahead. Looks like an old town that Santa Blanca's turned into a base. Oh man, there are guards all over the place. That bad? Yep, be careful. One down, so far so good. Got my way in, guys. All right, let's see what's in this big building. Okay, I got him. Red gloves, gas mask. He's got guards with him. Got it. And another one down. I'm moving through. Gotcha. Okay, I'm close to the building. I'm trying to find a way in. You saw anything else? Oh, man, I think he was dissolving somebody. Like in a can of acid or something. Yeah, looked pretty nasty. Come on, guys, let's move. All right, all right. I think I found my spot. Nearly there. Careful, there's more of them the closer you get. Only one left. Okay, I'm in position. I have three tangos in front of me. Weaver, you think you can help? I've got it. Going in. Don't let this guy get away. I see him. We'll talk about nightmare fuel. Call us if you need us. Don't worry, man, I got this. Shit, he spotted me. Guys, I'm spotted. That puzzle was running. I'm going after him. Where is he? Where is he? Get out of the way, man. Okay, he's in a white SUV heading for the east end of the camp. Following on a bike. Got it. I'm moving to intercept. This camp's on full alert, guys. We need to get out of here fast. Shit, hold on. Get in the car. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Shit, no, he's moving too fast. He went the other way. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. The gate's closing. I am right behind you. Weaver, are you okay? I'm good. Frag out. I'm pulling out. Found a bike, guys. I'm on my way. Hey, watch your fire. We need him alive. I can't get a good shot. This guy's all over the place. Stop moving. Okay, guys, I'm clear. Out of the camp, on the road. Where are you guys? Let me know you. <laughs> Damn, the whole place is going up. All right, I'm heading for the chopper now. Damn, he's trying to ram the car. I got to hit his engine. No, I'm trying to slow him down. Help us on the way, guys. I'll run this train. Where's the chopper? Where is it? I found it. Okay, getting in. I'm in the chopper, coming your way. All right, I'm on my way, guys. Hang tight. 
Oh, no, 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 he's not stopping. Oh, man, come on, come on. I'm trying. He's a tough one, this guy, huh? Oh! No, 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 we're not gonna push him Looks off. Looks like he's losing control. Can you push him to the side? I don't know how it looks up there, but that's what I'm trying to do. Damn it, he dodged it. Hang on, guys, I'm nearly there. Oh, damn it. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yes! He stopped. I'll get him. Be careful. Rise here. Out you get, buddy. Hurry up, we got cartel reinforcements incoming. Up you get, and in you go. Adios. Let's get the hell out of here. I got him in my line of fire. Well, hold him off. I gotta fly this thing. Man, we are clear, gentlemen. Nice work. That was a tough mission. Oh, man, that was close. Well, uh, first thing I can think to say off the top of my head after looking at that is, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, do I hate pre-recorded, pre-scripted, team play conversation um it's become kind of endemic um over the last couple of years i mean at one point a few years ago at e3 you'd have you know a couple of people playing a game on stage and you know they'd be effectively talking to each other as a team but it would be from a script effectively but now they just you know now they just put it in the the gameplay demonstrations, which are which are pre-recorded, basically, and like uh, this one appears to be. I mean, I don't think it was it certainly wasn't played live on stage, and invariably, you know, when these things get recorded, you've got PR and advertising people in, and they're choosing actors to to voice these roles, and they're trying to sound, you know, make them sound cool and dare I even say it, masculine and all the rest. I can tell you when this game comes out. No one who's playing that, either on their own or in four-player co-op, is going to be talking to each other like that. No one. Absolutely no one. And the whole thing at the end of the night, ooh, you know, that was close and ha ha ha. No, it wasn't. It was completely, for the most part, by the books. You know, the whole, you know, uh, the guy you're going after escaping near the end of the mission, you're having to chase him down, is... You know, it's video game design 101, basically, at this point. Um, in terms of the overall kind of visuals, um, it looks good. But again, with Ubisoft, who the hell knows? Um, the division certainly doesn't look as good um, as they as, the, as, the, as when they first showed it. Same with the original Watch Dogs. That's why I'm, I'm still suspicious of Watch Dogs 2, where they'll actually end up looking like that. And I'm pretty sure what we saw was PC footage, not... Uh, not console and who knows what kind of pc gaming rig you need to play it to that level of graphical fidelity um additionally you know in the case of pc then you know even now i mean if there's one area where the consoles have really leaped ahead of pc is voip is voice over internet protocol in other words people are talking to each other over the internet using microphones when they're playing against each other or with each other in multiplayer um i i have steam i and good old games and ea origin and i rarely can encounter someone whether i have i'm using a mic or not who uses voice over internet uh, when they're playing a multiplayer pc game so it's not a common occurrence um, as I said, the visuals look good. Um, it it looks, you know, fine, you know, great, all the rest. They showed us this game at the end of the Ubisoft pre press conference last year. And, you know, it was a smaller scale mission. You know, there wasn't this big building area and all the rest. But... You know, it didn't really, you know, it was a smaller scale version of what we saw with this. And it, you know, it doesn't really show any new information. It doesn't really, you know, uh, you know, I'm sitting there looking at this and I'm not, you know, at the end of this trailer, I'm no more in interested and or excited in this game than I was last year at the end of it when it was shown off for the first time at the Ubisoft press conference at last E3. 
Um, a part of that is frankly down to simple, straightforward cynicism, because again of the the stunts they've pulled both with the division and Watchdogs. So I'll you know I'll keep my uh, powder dry as it were in the in the excitement uh, in the in the area of excitement when it comes to this game. Um, looks like an open world shooter. I assume if you play it single player, you can order around your teammates, or you have to play it on your own, one or the other, or both. Um, and ordering around your teammates was something that was very much in the first two Ghost, uh, Tom Clancy Ghost Recon games when you are playing single player, um, which I enjoyed quite a bit. I like those two games. You know, again... You know, it gave again. It gives no indication of whether they're following or not the kind of typical Ubisoft book on open world game design, where you've got like these bases crisscrossed across the map, and you have to go you go one by one knocking them out to capture them, use them as spawn points, all the rest, and also to kind of deny you know thin out the enemy troops in the surrounding area. Will there be hunting in it? Who knows? There were, or other kinds of resource scavenging? Who knows? But that is again typical. You know, Ubisoft open world design. They have that in Assassin's Creed. They have in Far Cry um, whether they'll have it here I don't know but again it's another Ubisoft open world game it's Tom Clancy rather than Assassin's Creed or Watch Dogs or The Division um, you know I'll keep I'll keep an open mind for it but, but right now it's not it's again as I said it's it's a, it's not something I've uh, written down in my calendar to, as, as a must buy as a side note Watch Dogs 2 is coming later this year this apparently is coming out March next year um when I assume the next Assassin's Creed will be out holiday season 2017 so that's going to be effectively three completely different open world games in barely 12 months uh, from Ubisoft isn't a complete surprise to me. I think they've been going this way for quite some time. Um, they certainly need to stop releasing a new game from the same franchise every year. Like Assassin's Creed has just been run almost into the ground uh, by that. They shouldn't do that with Division. They shouldn't do that with uh, with Watch Dogs. And they shouldn't do that with, uh, uh, with uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands either. But it's just... There's only something like I I I'm not, I would consider myself a pretty hardcore gamer. I mean I've been there's been a lot of stuff going on that I haven't been able to sit down and play for hours and hours and hours on end. But uh, uh, I've still for some games I've still clocked up. I've got to go back to Witcher Three, but I've got 49 hours on that. I've got 47 hours on Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I've completed, haven't installed it yet. I've got. A grand total of 95 hours on Fallout 4. I haven't completed um, Fallout 4 yet. And I haven't completed The Witcher 3. Um, which I really do need to get back to completing both of those. I mean, hopefully the summer months will give me some breathing space. I got um, I got uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 when it was on sale for €20. Euros. Thanks very much, Steam. Which i got to get through as well. You know, there's there, there's other games out there from other publishers. How Ubisoft expects the the you know the consumer base to be able to absorb if this becomes the norm, twelve open world or not twelve three sorry three open world Ubisoft uh, uh, open world Ubisoft game open world sandbox Ubisoft games every three months or sorry every every twelve months sorry is is you know I I I think that's a, really a push too far. And I think one way or another, I, I think there's a good chance one will end up, uh, if one of them, it may be a situation where one of them ends up being particularly successful and just cannibalizing the sales of the other two titles because there's just, there's just not enough breathing room, just not enough space. I mean, I, you know, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I bought that at launch for the Xbox One because it was the best reviewed launch game for the Xbox One or one of the best reviewed launch games for the Xbox One. I played it for a couple of hours and then just stopped because it was the same Assassin's Creed thing all over again and I've gotten sick of it. I have no plans to buy this next year's Assassin's Creed. Uh, even if it turned out to be a really amazing game, I'd probably wait until it was available on sale, then maybe pick it up and whether I'd actually complete it or not, who knows. It's just, you know, it's too much. And for someone like myself who is free and single... Uh, no misses, no kids, or no mister either, uh, or no kids if I was uh, inclined that way, and no no children. You know, if I don't have the time to play through, or have you know difficulty completing Witcher Three and uh, 
Moss and Fallout 4 and uh, and Grand Theft Auto 5 in, in you know last year which I got through Grand Theft Auto 5 but I haven't completed the other two yet because I'm playing other games and doing other things I don't see how you know how Ubisoft is going to be able to get you know enough people to buy these three games uh, you know to make it you know worthwhile for them financially over the long term and particularly as our generation gets older and older and more of us have kids and families and have less spare time to spend you know i i just i don't see i mean that's you know that's that's basically 180 dollars worth at 60 bucks a pop worth of open world games from just one publisher in 12 month period i can't i just can't see how um, how that's sustainable in the long term i mean people might say oh you're completely wrong i'm sure there's a huge number of really kind of hardcore assassin's creed fans out there who devour each game year after year after year but it takes an awful lot more commitment to complete assassin's creed than it does to complete the single player campaign in call of duty and then throw in maybe 30 or 40 hours of multiplayer over the course of a year you know it's just again this is me ranting and raving i could i could go on and on but yeah i i just i just think it's a it's a it's a step too far for them and i think ubisoft is about to get uh, something of a nasty shock or may well get a nasty shock. And if they do and their share price goes down, well, that'll be very, very, very bad for the uh, Gilmo brothers because they're kind of try trying to stop Vendy from buying out Ubisoft um, as we speak. I think they're looking for a uh, what they call a white knight investor in Canada or the US who could buy up a chunk of shares and, and uh, help protect the, the company from Vivendi. Uh, they've already lost Gameloft, the other uh, Gilmo brother, the one who ran, not Yves, the other one ran Gameloft and he's now quit. Anyway that's uh my two cents on uh or should i say five cents uh on this um nothing you know it's, it's there was nothing good enough uh in the trailer the graphics weren't you know again amazing and blow your mind enough certainly not taking into account what we know about ubisoft's tendency towards uh misleading the public on what an actual game will look like when it actually hits the shops uh, and there certainly wasn't enough in it from a gameplay standpoint or anything else to get, you know, to to drive excitement, to get around the, again, the ridiculous canned dialogue, which kind of, you know, between the players, which just annoys the bejesus out of me. Anyway, this is uh, Defub21. If you agree with me, uh, please like this video uh, and uh, make your thoughts known in the comments. If you disagree with me, uh, please like this video and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will I do try to respond to people uh, in a prompt fashion when they do comment on my videos and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel uh, please do so for uh, more content like this Toodaloo.